So one of the main reasons uh, for using a content management system like WordPress is the ability to use custom themes. Uh, now there's a few ways you can get these themes. You could go out and buy one uh, from websites and there's certainly nothing wrong with that. Uh, there's a lot of good ones out there. Uh, you could hire a designer and then, I don't know, hire a developer to build it out for you. Or you can do it yourself. And by do it yourself, I mean you can create a theme and tweak it to exactly uh, meet your needs. And I'm going to show you how to do that uh, in a few short videos. The first thing we're going to do, though, is set up our theme directory. Now, this is very important uh, when you're developing within WordPress. And let's go ahead and get started. Now, there are some files that are absolutely necessary uh, within a theme. And I'm going to show you why right now. Uh, I have this easy dev site set up on my local server. And um, I have a video that I posted prior to this one that sets up work that shows you how to set up WordPress and uh, implement Bootstrap because that's what we're going to be using for our design. And uh, you should check it out if you haven't done so already. Also, go ahead and subscribe because I got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Um, to log into the WordPress admin, uh, you would type uh, your site name forward slash uh, WP dash admin and hit enter. And you'll be taken into the login screen for WordPress. Um, you type in your username and password. And to change themes out in WordPress, you go over to Appearance. And you'll see over here to the right, we have Themes. I'm going to click on that. And like I said in my last video, we set up uh, our development environment. And uh, we added a few files to a theme directory that I created called uh, Easy DevTutes but we didn't add all the necessary files. And you can see right here, we get a little message that says style sheet is missing. Uh, this is one of two of uh, the very minimum files that you need for a theme. Uh, so let's go ahead and set that up. I'm gonna switch over to my uh, text editor. I'm using Sublime Text. It doesn't matter which one you use or whatever's most convenient for you. And I already have my theme set up in a project over here on the side. Um, in the last video, we set up three directories, the CSS, our image directory, and JavaScript. And we did not do the screenshot. Uh, I added that when the video was over, but uh, you can add a screenshot if you'd like to. It's not really necessary, but it's cool to have one. Uh, like I said, we need very, uh, at very minimal, we need two files. So I'm gonna open up a couple of new ones. And the first one I'm gonna save as, uh, let, me, uh, let me go over to the, now would probably be a good time to save this over on the side. So I'm going to just take this and drag it over there. Oh. oh, yeah, I'm just going to save this as, uh, I don't know what I was doing there. I'm going to save this as index.php. And it's right here. And then on my next one, I'm going to save it as um, style. Dot CSS and you have to name it style.css. At the very top of your style.css file, you have to set up a uh, comment block that uh, is used to get the details of a WordPress theme. Um, I'm not going to type it all out. I'm going to be lazy and I'm just going to go over to the WordPress codex. And I have a bookmark here and along with a bunch of other stuff that, uh, you know, it's convenient for me. But anyway, let me go over to it and Let's go to uh, working with themes. I'm gonna click on theme development. And uh, throughout this whole series, I'm gonna be spending a lot of time on this WordPress codex page because I think probably one of the most intimidating things about developing within a framework is trying to read through the documentation and understand what things mean. And I really like the way WordPress has it set up and they make it very easy to uh, understand functions and so on. Uh, this code block right here under the theme style sheet is what we need. So let's copy and paste this. And switch back over to my editor. Paste it right there. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change out some of this info. Uh, theme name, I'll just put easy dev tools. Uh, theme URI, I'll just put my own. EasyDevTutes.com. And I mentioned before that uh, we're using the Bootstrap framework for front end. And I actually have another series on my channel 
that uh goes through the entire framework. So you should check that out too if you had the time. It takes about two hours. Uh, for description, I'm gonna put um uh I don't know theme from uh YouTube channel. I don't know. Uh, author. I feel easy dev tweets. Uh, URI. I'll just copy and paste this. Oops. Wrong one. Version uh, 1.0 tags. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I'll just tags a lot. I'll put responsive. It'll be a responsive website. For the license and URI, I'll just leave that blank now. I'll fill it out when I, I don't know, maybe when I make this stuff downloadable. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And now let's work on our index.php. Um, I'm not going to do much. I'm, we're not going to set up the template yet. I just want to make sure that uh, when we activate the theme, it works. So I'll just put, I don't know, an H2. And I'll put easy dev tools. And I'll just save that. And I'm going to switch back over to my browser. And uh, I'll just refresh this. Okay, so the theme's no longer broken. And you see my screenshot. And now I have the ability to activate it. I can also live preview it. And when I click on the details, uh, the description that I typed in before, that comment block showed up. Um, let's go ahead and activate this. And visit site and there we go uh, if you see this like how I have uh, mine on my screen that means it works and our theme is ready for development in the next video we're gonna start using the uh, WordPress hooks and actions and uh, get started with building our awesome responsive website uh, responsive blog thanks for watching and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already